Good morning, I'm Mary Ellen from the channel Mary Ellen After 60. And today I'm here just to kind of share with you what is new with us, to talk about some tangible and non-tangible favorites, and announce the three winners of my e-gift card from last video. Jim and I are doing fine. We have been together 24-7 since March 11th. It has been a challenge for everybody. I have no idea what anybody's going through, but this has definitely been a challenging time in our lives. Yesterday we were talking and I said we just need to remember everything that we should have been grateful for before this all started. And I do, and I do believe it'll be over. Things will get back to normal, but it'll be a new normal, just like any event that's happened in our lives. We begin with a new normal. We've all been affected worldwide. But today I'm here just going to talk about some favorites and some fails. And I'm going to start out with the things that you cannot buy. Well, some of them you kind of can. But the first Sunday of this month we had, we changed to daylight savings time. And I used to kind of complain about that because I prefer standard time. But I, I've gl I have glided through it very well this year because so many other things have happened. Last August, the town next to us started the Walmart grocery pickup. And we have one grocery store in town, and it's a very good grocery store, but there's a lot of things that you can't buy there. So I started using that probably about once a month, and I have been very, very thankful that it is still available to us. I start my grocery list when I think I'm wanting, needing something or wanting, and I just keep adding to it. Sometimes it's not available and sometimes it's what I want is. But I've been very appreciative of that. We just drive over, call the number, they put it in our trunk and don't need to sign anything. This winter has probably been the mildest winter that I can ever remember. That I can ever remember. I think only one time did it drop below 10 degrees. and. We live in Southern Illinois, but we really do usually have some very cold spells and a lot of snow, and we haven't gotten any snow this year, but we have received a lot of rain in the month of March. But all this met rain made me think about when I was growing up, we lived in a big old house and it had a huge basement. And it did not matter what the weather was, if it was raining or if it was snowing, we could always go downstairs and play, ride our bicycles, or our tricycles. We had all sorts of things that were fun to do and it didn't matter what the weather was like outside. And it brought back a lot of good memories. Also during this time, I am so thankful that I listened to my grandmother Rose. And I'm gonna put a video up there and then I always link them below. I always, because I don't really understand cards that much. But it was advice I took from my grandmother Rose. It's more important now than ever. When I was just a little girl, I saw my grandmother every day. And one of the things that she truly instilled in me was never to touch your face. She said, the only time she touched her face was when she washed it and when she put on makeup. And it really has served me well. And during this time, it's been super beneficial. I, once I started wearing makeup, I understood what she was talking about because if you're touching your face, you're wearing off your makeup. But she really shared some good tips. And she was born in 1885 and she had a wealth of knowledge. And I'm just really glad I listened to her about a lot of things. Most of the things that I've enjoyed this month have been more, more lifestyle, kitchen, things like that. I think it was on March 6th, I started eating my healthy way again. And prior to that, I would be eat really healthy for probably 11 days out of a two week period, probably 11 or 12 days, but then on day 13 and 14, or somewhere in there, I, I just craved ice cream and I ate it. So I really wasn't eating healthy. So some one of the things that I've been enjoying, I've had over two years, and it's my food scale. You just put your bowl here, you turn it on, you put your bowl there, you hit the tear button and it zeroes out. It does grams and it does ounces. And then you just weigh your food. Well, I started this since, my, since March 6th, I started eating some frozen berries about every day. 
Well, these are the cherry berry blend, tart cherries, blueberries, strawberries, and like for one cup, it had, I can't remember how many grams. I, I count carbohydrates. And really what I want to do is have anywhere between 50 and 100 a day. And I try to eat, and pretty well do, whole foods, real food, except for like cottage cheese, which, you know. Well, since these berries were all different sizes, it was a lot easier for me to turn the switch to grams and then take out 70 grams, which was a one half cup serving, but you, it's hard to measure berries in a half cup. And that left me with seven grams. And then I would add a little less than a half a cup of cottage cheese and mix it up. And I use this bowl right here. And I love this bowl. And I, I got this as a newlywed and it's the only one I have. Well, I went on a big search because I was using this all the time. This is exactly a four ounce bowl and I couldn't find them anywhere. So I ordered something from Amazon, and I think this is the only new thing I have. And I, I like them, I don't love them, but I like them. They're like four ounce bowls, it's four ounces up to here, and it does have a lid. But a lot of times I just save a serving of vegetables in here, but it's easy to measure how much food you're taking in. So this, I think I got a set of eight, and a set of um, eight of the seals, and I've been pretty pleased, but if anybody knows where I can get this size Corel bowl, I like the way it's made. I liked, it's just easy to mix things up, and I just really like it. At Christmas, one of the things I told Jim I wanted was a chopper. And this is a good chopper, and it's by Ninja. It comes apart, it has a seal, it has blades. Well, it does a great job chopping up vegetables and but don't, sometimes you only have to pulse it a couple of times because it, it does a really good job. Well, I found another way to use it, and I love it. I had baked a large, oh well, for us, it was like a seven or eight pound ham. And I thought, man, I'd like to have some ham salad. And I don't have a food processor. And I thought, what do I have to lose by putting it in here? And I put in several chunks of ham. And I tell you what, it did beautifully. So this made it to my favorites. I liked it enough before I made the ham salad, but I tell you, after I made the ham salad, it really is a favorite. So I just wanted to share that with you. And he bought it for me, and I think it was less than $20 or around that mark. I don't know if any of these things are available. If they are, I will link them below so you can check them out. I don't usually enter giveaways, but Frances from the channel Happiness Sparkles, she did a giveaway on hand-knitted caps. She formed a company called Norris Knits and all of the proceeds from her company, that's her beautiful granddaughter, are going to pay for help pay for her college education. Well, I won this and I just want you to see how beautiful it is. There's her little emblem. You can get them in all colors and it hasn't been cold enough for me to wear this yet. I got this. I was going to give it to my daughter, but I liked it so much. That, that I kept it for myself. I never did mention it to her, but isn't that adorable? And you can tell that it is made with love. You can get them, the stripes going down this way, but I just absolutely love this. I'm gonna link her channel below, and if I have information, if I can find the site where you can order them, because I tell you what, these will be wonderful, wonderful Christmas gifts. I bought this over a year ago, and I think it's pronounced babylous. It's the one half inch straight iron. And what I bought it for was travel, because a lot of times I just have like a dent in my hair. I don't usually use a flat iron very often, but this really worked well, and it came with a travel case, and I liked it. But now I have a need for it. You know, I dermal row my scalp to get thicker hair. I don't really care if it grows, I just want it thicker. Well, I've gotten a ton of new hair, and also I've been using it right here, and I hadn't before. I always have had like sparse hair here, but I always liked it. It never bothered me. I mean, it's just how my hairline is. Well, I started derma rolling that and it started growing. So I have to decide if I want it to go this way or that way. Well, it does better if I go this way. So this has been so handy just to get up there and go like that and try to tame those hair. I don't know. I, th I may quit growing them because I was used to them the way they, because I was used to them the way they were that th this has come in handy. I ordered mine from Amazon, but I know they have them at Ulta. 
and I don't know which is more expensive, but it's just been really handy. I have new favorite pajamas and I am dressed. I'm dressed. I don't have pajamas on today. And I don't know if they're available, but I'm going to put a picture of them in here or here. And they've been my favorite this year. Normally, I like the pajamas. I still like my other pajamas, but these were so lightweight, but yet warm. The only thing I don't like about them is the plaids don't match down the seam of the side. And I used to do a lot of sewing, and I always made sure that my plaids matched perfectly. So I just don't look at myself from the side when I wear them. If they still have them and they go on sale, I'm going to order some for Christmas presents because I ordered some last year for Christmas presents and they loved them. So every day I go on QVC and I look to see if they're on sale because I don't think I should pay full price in March for winter pajamas that I paid the same amount in autumn. One of my viewers, and she is a friend, her name is Leslie Riles, and she sent me a link to something in one of my videos, probably in January. And I'm really, it, usually if somebody sends me a link, it goes to spam. And sometimes I don't see the spam, but I saw this and I will show you what I ordered. And it's a lip, a lipstick case. And I love it. I have my lip pencils there and my lip brush, some glosses, some more glosses, some more glosses. And some lipsticks. I don't have all everything that I own put in here yet. I'm going to take out probably about half of my glosses because I rotate them in the refrigerator. That way they stay light longer a lot better. I don't have an affiliate link. I can just put the link below if any of you all are interested in this. It has a handle down here. I kind of wish it had a handle up here because I like to kind of keep it like this and just on the floor in my dressing room. And then I just love to see the colors. And I have some rearranging to do with it, but it really has made me happy. And I did have some fails this, this month. And one of them are these house shoes or slippers that I got in my FabFitFun box. I tell you, I wore them twice. I about killed myself. There's absolutely no support. I didn't like them. So I am going to see if they are washable. If they're washable, I'm going to donate them. But uh, even they're so big, and even Jim couldn't wear them. He didn't like them. I thought, well, Jim, do you want to wear these around here? He tried them on. He said, they don't feel good at all. So anyway, that was a fail. Another fail for me was the Quest tortilla-style protein chips, nacho cheese. I ordered these in my Walmart grocery pickup. They were $3, and I should have looked at the ounces. I mean, it's 1.1 ounce. But I really thought it was a lot bigger bag. Plus, the chips weren't that good. And they're, it's very, very processed. But, you know, every once in a while, you do kind of want a treat. And this didn't do it for me at all. And the other thing, I was out of bobby pins. Well, the good ones that I had were dark. And I think some of mine are from my grandmother, I swear. But they're really good. Well, I ordered these goody ouchless bobby pins because I like the color of the blonde. And I got three packs of them, and I tell you what, they aren't worth anything. You get one out, you put your finger in it, and it just absolutely twists. And it doesn't have, it, it's not a good bobby pin. So I placed an order from Ulta, and I'll talk about that in a future video. It wasn't makeup. I didn't buy any makeup during the Ulta sale. And the last lip product I purchased was on January 1st, and I'm really proud of myself. I have not purchased a lip product. Well, anyway, <laughs> back to my bobby pins. I kept, I put them in here, and I cut the name out so I could keep it in here in case I ever need any more. And they were 45 bobby pins for $4, but let me tell you, they are excellent bobby pins. They are sturdy, not heavy, and they just slip right in your hair just how you want it. And I think you know what I'm talking I don't like them when they twist over. So... From that fail, I found something that I really like. I enjoyed reading all of your comments and you telling me what your very favorite flowers were. I had to look up Jumping Jacks and Bleeding Heart. I failed to mention what my favorite flower is. And of course, my favorite color is pink and I love pale pink rosebuds, followed by hydrangeas, 
We had a hydrangea bush in our home growing up and I love them when they're alive and I love them dried. And now I want to announce the winners of the $25 e-gift card. The first name that came up was Cindy Rigsby. Congratulations, Cindy. The next winner is Vicki Hinton. Congratulations, Vicki. And the last winner was Helene G. Congratulations, Helene. I want you all to be safe and take care. Congratulations to my winners. Make sure you leave a comment below so I can let you know how to get in touch with me. I sure hope and pray you all are doing as well as you possibly can. We need to stay strong because this too shall pass. I appreciate your time more than you'll ever know and that you that you choose to click on my video and watch it. I'm, I'm very honored. It is all good. It truly is. And uh, I will see you in my next video. Thank you very much. Started the Walmart pickup. So if you have to sit on your hands. So when I did that, but I have a new weight, but I have a new reason for, but they try to 